table project management full tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome in this video i am giving you a full beginners tutorial on Airtable, and you will learn everything you need to know about Airtable, and you will be able to make an informed decision if this is the platform for your project management or not so get ready to learn everything in 10 minutes and this is going to be a complete beginners tutorial so if you have no idea about Airtable and how to get started then this video is for you so let's get into it first of all what you guys need to do is you're gonna go to airtable.com and you will land right here airtable is a project management software that allows you to create your own task your projects you get different views you can collaborate with your team and much more in order to get started with airtable you're gonna go to the website and then you will click on sign up for free and it will take you right here I can sign up with my work email, we can sign up with our Google account or we can also use our Apple ID. So signing up process is really easy. Just enter your email address and you are good to go. After the initial sign up or sign into your Airtable, this is where you will get. You can see on Airtable, we have our basis, then we have our templates, marketplace and universe. So here I have my workspace. We also get a default workspace created within Airtable and I can create a new workspace of my own. In order to get started, you will actually have to create your new workspace. You can start from the scratch or you can go to the template section right here. So this is our template gallery on Airtable. As a complete beginner, it is very easy to get started with a template and you will be able to find template on a lot of different things. If you're looking to create a content calendar, you got the template right here. We have for project tracker, we have marketing campaigns, we have product launch, we have research plan, event planning. You can also search by categories here. We have HR and uh, we have local businesses, marketing, we have uh, publishing, project management, software, development and much more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually go to the sections right here and then click on project management so that it gives me the right templates here i'm going to select this one which is a project tracker because that's what i was looking for if you have any other uh, kind of project tracker you were looking for you can select here so i'm going to select this template so this is the base that I have selected. Now we can select a workspace for that. So I'm just going to go with a default workspace that we got. Click on add base and now the base will be created within a workspace. What is a base? Well, in simple words, it's a project that you have created within a workspace. So this is the look of a project within Airtable and you can see it's a template. That is why I am getting different things added. So I will be able to customize it completely. Let me show you how it works. First of all, we have a project name right here. Then we have our data. We have automations and then we have interfaces. So here I have tasks, timelines and assignees. We have an overview available and then we have add or import option. Here I'll be able to see all of the different views that are available within my project. So we have a collaborative view, we have a personal view and we also have a locked view available. We can also assign it to someone as a personal view. Similarly, we have different extensions that we can add right here. And then we have different types of apps and softwares that we can import. So let's say you want to add something from Excel, you want to add something from Google Sheets, you will be able to add it very quickly. So we get the option here. We can also restart from the scratch if we want, because you can see with this template, I am getting a lot of different things. And as a beginner, it can be a little complicated for you. So you can uh, start from the scratch as well if you like. So if I just click on restart as a scratch and it will show you a complete blank uh, canvas here. This is what a blank project will look like. So we can get started with this one too. The outlook of Airtable is very similar to Google Sheets. You'll be able to see the list. We have some cells that we create. So this is going to be table one and I can create more than one table. Again, we have to give it a name. So I'm going to call it project management. We can select the color too. So let's go with a pink color or maybe we can go with orange. It totally depends on you. We can also select a logo here. So I'm going to go with this one. Now you can see we have our list. We have names, notes, assignees and statuses. These are some of the sections or some of the lists that are already created. 
So I'm going to create another one. Let's say I want to create one with a user. So I'm going to click on user, click on create field, and it will be created right here. Enter the name of your new task or your new project right here. We can also expand the record here. So I'm going to click on that and it will expand it for me. You can see. Now let's type in our name here. Let's call it task one. Now I have to enter notes. We have assignees. So in assignees, I'm going to assign it to a team member. We have statuses. So I'm going to select status and we can select to do. In collaborator, I can select a collaborator for the task as well. We can add a new field too to this table right here. We can also leave a comment uh, on our task anytime we want. We have these three dots and it will allow me to send record, duplicate record, print record or a delete record. So you can see a new task has been created and it has all of these different fields to it. Similarly, we can create another task. Just click on expand and give your task a name. Let's call it task two. In notes, you're going to type whatever you want. Assign it to someone. In statuses, I'm going to select in progress. In collaborator, I'm going to assign it to someone and then a new task will be created. I can also expand something or make it smaller. Working with Airtable is actually really easy. You can see we have these kind of fields and I can create more fields from here. We also have share view option. Click on share view and you will be able to create a shareable grid view link or create a form view. So you can choose either of these options and you'll be able to actually send the link to anyone or embed it in a website. You can actually send forms with the help of Airtable. You can see this is the data option right here. If I click on automations, it will take me to the automation center within our Airtable. So Airtable is a project management and an automation platform. So what you guys need to do is click on add trigger and then select a trigger let's say when a record is created so what action should be performed click on action and click on send email this way a new automation will be created within airtable and it will help me save time and run my uh, projects and records smoothly we also have the interfaces right here in interfaces with interface, we will be able to actually work with a workflow and it becomes more easy for us to read and we get a visual representation of our data that we have added to Airtable. So you can start building your workflow anytime you want uh, with Airtable. Just click on start building and then you can use a case here. With Airtable, we have a lot of different options available. Uh, and you can, and it's very easy to use. Once you click on one option, you get the other option and it becomes really easy. Create a custom interface. Let's say I want to choose a case. So I'm just going to click right here next. And then we have an interface and now I can go with a record view. We have a dashboard. We have a record summary. We have form or we can go with a blank. So this is under the, the layout that we want to go for. I want to create a dashboard. Click on next, next and select the elements you want to add. Click on finish and your new interface will be created. And you can see this is my interface, which is a dashboard interface for my table one that I created within this project. So this is how you create an interface. You can publish any interface you like anytime you want. So let's get back to data here. Uh, in data, I can also add or import any type of a table. We can also use other sources such as we have Airtable base, we have CSV files that we can upload, we have Google Sheets, we have Microsoft Excel, and 21 more sources from where we can get the data. Similarly, we have a group option here. We have filters available. We have sort and color too. You can also uh, select by row and we can uh, customize our rows and columns completely. At the bottom right here, we have add record option. Click on add record and it will allow you to add a record very easily. And uh, this is a quick access right here. Again, you can click on share and you can invite someone to your project. In order to invite, you just have to enter their email address. You can also create a link and send them uh, personally. You can also create a public project and share it with other people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter an email address right here and then I'm going to invite someone as an editor. Click on invite and an invitation will be sent to them. 
And this way you will be able to collaborate with your team, create projects, create tasks, and actually create a productive workspace for yourself on Airtable. You can go ahead and check it out right now, Airtable.com. I showed you how to get started and how you can create your new project. I hope that I was a big help to you guys. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.